Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to look at another one of those bits of gear that is so good, I would heartily recommend it to anybody just starting out or even someone who's been doing bushcraft for a while. And that item is one of these. This is the Open L number no. eight garden knife. As with all of these reviews, uh, this isn't something that I've had for just five minutes. In fact, this one I purchased back in 2006 or 2007 when I was working for Bison Bushcraft. And what I wanted was a small stainless steel folding knife that was primarily going to get used for my food prep. Now, I'd used Open L's a lot over the years, so I knew what to expect. But this one, was slightly different. Number one, it was in 12C27, really good stainless steel one that I'd used before on uh, an Ecker knife, the Ecker Swede 88. And so I had some experience of how good that steel was. Obviously it's got the usual open L twist locking arrangement, which is very, very secure. And I had experience of it already. Back then, the only place I could get one of these was a place called Knife Center, which I think was based in the States, and they sent me through one of these. At the time, Bison Bushcraft didn't stock these. I hadn't seen them until I got this one. And over the years, I found this to be absolutely superb. Not only is it very good for basic food prep. It's got that nice thin blade that slices really, really well. But I also found it really good for lots of other tasks. It's got a nice square edge on the back, so it works really well with a ferro rod. Narrow blade profile means it's also pretty good for whittling as well. It shaves a mean feather It's nice narrow blade profile and it's edge retention makes it pretty good for a spot of whittling. This is a spoon that I carved using this knife many years ago and it's a piece of hazel and we can do some quite ornate carving using this little knife. The other massive bonus with these is their weight. This weighs in at 44 grams. So you can carry this all day and not even know that you're carrying it. If you are watching the weight, if you're backpacking for any length of time, this is the way forward. I think these are great little knives. Operation is simple. It opens and closes. And to lock it in place, it's got a twistable ring. And that holds it secure in place. If we twist it back the other way to close it, we can also lock it closed by again turning it and that keeps it in the closed position. So it's a nice, safe little knife to use. I tend to carry mine tucked away in a little sheath along with a ferro rod and a little antler whistle. And this is a really useful, very lightweight combo for when you're out in the field. I think a very good little bushcraft knife and one that is often overlooked in favour of its bigger fixed bladed brothers. <clears throat> but make no mistake, this is a seriously good little bushcraft knife. This combined with a light hatchet or a light tomahawk makes for a really good lightweight travelling bushcraft combination. Cost-wise, they're not going to break the bank either. Uh, I think they go for about 15 or so pounds and they are really worth the money and I think a really good value piece of kit. As I said, I got this one I think probably about 12 years ago and it's seen a lot of use and it still is in perfect working order. So I think it's given really good value for money.
So there you go. So just a little quick review on a piece of kit that I think is really, really great. If you enjoyed the video, then remember, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. My email address will come up on the screen in a moment. And if you want to get in touch, then please feel free to email me at any time. You can also pop over to our Etsy shop, have a little look, see what items I've got up for sale. There's odd bits and pieces that I've carved and made. There's always the Green Craft patch. Why not show your support for the channel and get yourself one of these. You also might find over there, if you're quick, one of these. My Moore's Survival Scarf. And as you've seen from these videos, it's a really useful bit of kit to have with you at all times. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.